going on guys? It is Monday afternoon and Trevor and I are going to be going to the hockey game tonight so I'm just getting ready. So some of you may or may not know I have two surface piercing right on my collarbone which I got back in March um, 2014. They're not supposed to be permanent or anything like that. So I was expecting them to eventually reject. And about a year and a half in, my right one was rejecting, and which is okay, because that's still a good amount of time to have it. This was back in September of last year, so September 2015. And I was really avoiding going to the place where I actually had it done, because they recommend that whenever your piercing is rejecting, um, to go see a professional to get it removed but I didn't want that because I was actually about to go on a vacation so it was kind of inconvenient and one day I, I decided to go and take a hot shower and just stand under the shower hoping that the water pressure would be enough to remove it well that didn't work out but as soon as I jumped out of the shower I took, took a look at it and sure enough it was barely hanging on so I actually removed it myself and it didn't hurt at all so that was really great and here's the crazy thing. The reason why I'm sharing this story, well, let me first show you the progress of that scar. So it doesn't look too bad, and I mean, I did expect it to scar. Um, you know, I was doing a lot of research before I had this done, and because of the location, it is expected to colloid, and that's totally okay to me. I have no issues with scars whatsoever. And the reason why I'm sharing you guys this story is because my left one was actually doing just fine. Um, up until the other day, I, um, before I took a shower, I, uh, my hair was kind of messy and everything, and so I pushed my hair back. I simply just pushed my hair back, and I just felt a sting. And I looked in the mirror, I'm like, oh my god, what happened? And sure enough, it was no longer there. So what ended up happening was that my hair got tangled around the jewel while I was asleep. And so when I pushed my hair back, it just pulled it right off. And so um, that's what happened with that. It sounds really horrible, but again, it wasn't too painful. There was a bit of a sting, but nothing too crazy. And so this is what it looks like now. So there goes that. Hello. Ugh, let, why are you touching the patties like with um, your dirty hands? I, I washed, I just washed. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't sure. What's that? <laughs> So Trevor got us some Jamaican patties mm. because we don't have a lot of time to have dinner and we have to leave in about 15 minutes. So. But it's going to be a night of bad food. We're going to the Flames game tonight. So it's going to be probably nachos <sighs> and hot dogs. It's a cheat night. <laughs> uh -oh. is a cheat day for me. For now. Up until I'm 300 pounds in there. I'm gonna hmm. change my ways. <laughs> if I reach 300 pounds, I think you would die. Before. I would die. <laughs> You're about what, 4'10? Mm -hmm. You would be bedridden. Be you too don't much. think I'm, I'm gonna die? No, I, oh, okay. I don't know. You'd be really close. Challenge accepted. <laughs> no way. You know what Jamaican patties remind me of? Hmm. You remember back when we still had our original wedding plans? Whenever we would have Jamaican patties, we would talk about our wedding because. Oh. You We're wanted it in Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. So, even before we got engaged, we were technically already wedding planning. A couple months in, actually, to dating. <laughs> we were kind of wedding planning. Hmm. I don't see that. But it's true, like, we um, seriously were wedding planning, and we didn't really need the enga engagement to feel comfortable. Flake on your lip. We're planning it to happen this year mm -hmm. in July, and we both agreed to do it, it to do a destination wedding. I just threw it out there and suggested Jamaica, and of course you were down for it. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, every time we um, had Jamaican patties, we would just talk about the simplicity of our wedding and I wasn't really joking when I said that I'm looking forward to like having Jamaican patties <laughs> as one was... of our dishes at yeah. the wedding mm -hmm. and now instead of wedding plans what are we talking about over Jamaican patties 
Um, Shattered dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking about how it's not happening anymore. <laughs> Basically. It was a crazy weekend. Well, for me, I just worked, so it's not really interesting. So Friday, I play hockey on Friday nights. I play goalie, and during during the play, one of the players shot the puck, and as I went down, my chest protector pushed my mask up just as the puck was coming. So the puck actually went under my mask and hit me right on the collarbone. And show sure your. I don't. I mean, I don't know if you can really see it. I don't even know if it's really. So apparently there's oh, no. Oh, it's healing already. It's yeah, it's kind of healing. You can see it. It's yellow now. I if I'm gonna bruise or if I'm gonna at least be like in pain, I want something gnarly to like. I want it to be grotesque. I want it to be like. I want my whole chest to be purple. I got home and and then I ended up falling asleep on the couch. Yeah. So then I just I just spent the night here, and it got really really cold on mm -hmm. Friday night like. And into like the minus 30s well, and Celsius. well Celsius I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but it was it was cold mm -hmm. I was getting ready to go out and I was having a shower and while I was in the shower I noticed I had the dial turned all the way to hot and you can kind of start to feel it getting colder and mm -hmm. colder and I like have shampoo in my hair so that sucks. I quickly wanted to wash it out because I was like I don't know why but we don't have any hot water mm -hmm. And then so I told Keon that and she had to work. Keon had to go to her aunt's place to shower. So then that was that issue. Then when I was going to be going to my friend's hockey game, I go to start my car and my car won't start. So I was like, okay, well, I didn't plug my car in. So maybe I'll plug my car in. Try it again. Nothing. So by this time, Keon has already gone to work. And luckily she works close, maybe two or three blocks. No, babe. What is up with you? Into it's the, about two maybe or three blocks. it's more. Anyway. <laughs> everything. So, everything in regards to like within. Distance. Around, yeah. Around us. He's always blocks. like, oh, they're two blocks away. They're it's two kind blocks. of equivalent to <gasps> like if you live. Well, it's a here. two minute drive. Let's just put it that way. It's a two minute drive. Yeah. So anyway, I oh, had a my, half an hour. My home to work. is a work. two minute drive. <laughs> and she drives. She could have just walked. Excuse me. It's but cold. it was cold. It was cold. But she walk. She drives even in the summertime. Hey. It's true. Okay, but. Just because I wear heels sometimes, and then on top of that, my purse is massive because I bring so much food. That's true. It's an uncomfortable situation. I guess situation, that's true. I get okay? Fair. Fair enough. Fair. I could like go to work with a backpack. <laughs> you could. A duffel bag. A, a duffel bag. So anyway, I had about a half an hour left, or a half an hour until my friend's game started. So I ended up running to her work to grab her keys for her car. So then I grab her car. Yeah, I don't know why he ran. He could have just called me. I could have. And she's like, I could have picked you up, but I didn't know because she's at work. Like, who can just leave work to come and pick me when I could just walk? It's only two blocks. Anyway, so I go pick up her car. I go see my it's friend's game. It's more than two blocks. And I then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to buy booster cables on the way home. And I come to boost my car. And my car won't even start. I had to buy a new battery on Sunday. I put it in my car. It starts up like a gem now. But... It ended up costing me like 140 bucks. Anyways, longest story of my life. Have fun editing that. <laughs> Just so, all important. You're so bogus. Dude, I haven't been on the train in so long. Last time you were on the train, we went to a stand game? Probably. That is not. That's like almost two years ago. It's more, more than, than two, two years, years ago. ago. Do you even know how long we've been together? Even in time, it's like two years. I know, that's so true. He has a, two, he has a thing with number two. How oh. far? Two blocks. How long? <laughs> two years. <laughs> when are we going to leave? In two minutes. I it's can't. Two. It's two. How many children are we going to have? Two. two. <laughs> Max. <laughs> no. What he really meant is two sets of twins. Two sets of twins. <laughs> Two sets of twins, that's what we're gonna have. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're playing San Jose tonight. I don't even know who we're playing. Well, thank you, Michael, for these seats. Um, these seats are were given by Trevor's coworker, right? Um, I can't go, so we just gave it to him. Yeah, so he can't go tonight. He has season tickets, so... And he gave it away for free, so that's really nice of him to do. So we gonna do that. What are you eating? Lint. Lint liquor. 
So whenever we leave the house, we gate the dogs and the pigs together. And luckily they get along very well. The pigs have to babysit. Yeah, the pig's cage actually always stays open because it is too small for two pigs. So I actually give them free reign of this mudroom, but technically they have free reign of the whole house. Like we never block them in or anything, but they never leave the mudroom. So if you guys can see the mudroom, so this is technically the mudroom and this is technically the rest of the house and for some reason they never go past this but sometimes they do very rarely though they're so silly and for some reasons we have two beds but they both sit in one. Oh, the dogs yeah and it's sometimes not, it's, it's mugs because sometimes Benny is fine but mugs is here shivering oh look at Benny, and Benny. pulling Benny yeah. wants him out of his bed, but he doesn't. He yes. just sits there. And... Yeah, and the pigs are quite brave, actually, because they just walk around all over the dogs, and they go all over their beds, and they go near the dogs. I mean, they, they really are not afraid, so I'm really proud of them for that. But yeah, luckily, the dogs get along well with them. So we're on the way to the train station now. We're gonna be taking the train in. And the cool thing about the game tonight is that my manager's husband and son are gonna be there tonight because of you. Yeah, so basically one of the VPs where Trevor works, um, he has season tickets and he has really, really good seats. It's right behind um, the flames bench actually. So it's a really good um, experience if you get to do that. And he's really kind because um, I don't think he really puts it out there that he has season tickets, but people just know. And people ask him if the tickets are available available on a particular day. If they are available, this, this gentleman um, will let you know and he will freely give you the tickets. I don't know if he does that for everybody, but uh, whenever I ask him how much for the tickets, he just says, you know, it's on me. So Trevor basically asked tickets for tonight to give to my manager, my manager's family, and because they're huge hockey fans, so that's really nice of them to experience it. Because I don't think either of them have been that close to the rink before, so yeah. that's going to be great. And I'm really excited, only because we went with those tickets last year, and I was so excited because, like Keon said, it's it's four rows behind the the Flames bench, but it's also just one seat over from the tunnel that the flames walk out of onto the ice so you could actually stick your head over the tunnel and you could see the players walking down and you know if you stick your hand over they'll give you five so it was really cool because I gave it to her manager's 11 year old son as a, as a Christmas present because he plays hockey the flames are his favorite team to be that close and it's just a whole other experience. Anyways, earlier when Trevor was talking about the friend um, whose game he went to over the weekend, that's actually my manager's son's game that he went to. So Trevor's my so friend. sweet. Trevor's so sweet because he's been supporting um, my manager's family when it comes to their hockey and everything. So he went to a couple games already. Okay, so we're on the train right now. We're heading to the game. And uh, we just wanted to share a quick story. So when we're driving to the train station, I told Keon that it brought up a bunch of memories because when we first started dating, she used to park her car at the train station. The train station. We both used to work in downtown. Well, he still works in downtown. Right, and so I, I live in the deep south of Calgary, so then I would take the train in. And I lived in the deep northwest of Calgary, yeah. so complete opposite ends of the city. So whenever she would come and visit me after work, uh, I would drive her all the way drive myself all the way back home. Yeah, it was a 45 minute drive. drive. It's so crazy. Yeah. My memory, because he, since he mentioned that, my memory, I don't even want to say it out loud, but my memory was when we first started dating, it was like seriously just days of Yeah, dating. I don't even think we were, were we dating? Or we were just, yeah, we were because, just hanging out? because it was snappy. So anyway, yeah. um, we were at the train station, they really, really had to be. It's so quiet now, I don't want people to hear.
So did we finish our story? I really, 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 really had to pee and I could not wait any longer because we took the train in from downtown and basically I peed in some dark corner. Oh yeah, that's right, in the bush. Yeah. She peed in, in behind yeah. the bush. But it was just funny because we just started dating. Yeah. Like maybe two, not even two weeks. And I think that's when I knew. <laughs> <laughs> we just got home not too long ago from the game it uh, did not work out the way we wanted it to. The Flames lost 5-4. I'm not surprised. Anyways, yeah, so my manager's family had a good time. Mm -hmm. She was texting Trevor um, kind of towards the end of the game and after. And she said that um, her son had an amazing time. Said it was one of the best, one of the best Christmas gifts ever. Mm -hmm. But now um, his dad actually texted me saying that he wants season tickets there now so yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's gonna happen but he's like thanks trevor <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's really great for them to experience yeah, yeah and it was really cool because we saw after one of the periods when the players were coming off um he had his hand out and all the players were giving him high fives and uh fist bumping him so that's gotta be pretty cool for for a little kid so i was really happy that he had such a good time night night we're just gonna go bye Bye. Bye.